Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Jalen Rose. Massive shout out to my boy NBA2K Kiwi for letting me hop in his account to record this gameplay. Really appreciate that a lot. I'm excited to try out this card. You get him from winning 20 wins in Unlimited this season, and I think there is potential for him to be an elite level point guard, but I'm not entirely certain about his release. If his release is elite, this card is arguably the best point guard in the game. If it is not, he will probably, well, not be. So that release is going to be the big deciding factor, I think, for this Jalen Rose card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, Jalen Rose is 6'8 at small forward, 90 on offense and defense, 95 driving layup, 94 close shot mid range, and a 93 three ball, 92 free throw, 95 driving dunk, 95 ball handle. Defensively, a very, very solid all the way around, 94 speed we have ball at 92 excel and 92 lateral quickness like statistically he's not unbelievably great but he's very very good but badge wise 73 total badges um including well pretty much everything important shooting playmaking defense um slashing he does not have half movable enforcer but again he's six eight and he's got it on gold so i think he'll be just fine with um that as well as gold big wall and that type of stuff super complete pretty much every badge in the game just really good looking card the one question mark that i do have though at the end of the day is that release and that is going to be the thing that i think decides how good this card really is so um uh, let's turn off make sure our settings are right real quickly sub in miss Jalen Rose and let's see what these animations are looking like so number one player build wise he is massive for 6'8 he, he looks bigger than 6'8 oh they didn't give him a good release I mean a good behind the back dang it 2k trolled us with that behind the back and I'm not gonna lie they might have trolled us a little bit with the release too the base is pretty good the upper is not amazing that uh, Tony Parker upper is not I don't think a great one um, this year and it's not awful, but it does slow down his jump shot. That combined with not a great behind the back, which I really thought he was going to have like Jamal Murray behind the back. He's got Trey Escape, and he moves well. He's athletic as heck. He defends his butt off, but not an elite level behind the back and a release that I think, while smooth and easy to green, is not going to be unbelievably quick or anything like that. Overall constitutes a card who, unfortunately, is going to be a little bit worse than I thought he was going to be at the point guard position. Still a very viable competitive level point guard, but... I, I don't know. I think he's probably closer to like, he might be a little, I mean, he's similar to SGA. He's a couple inches taller than SGA. He's going to defend a little better than SGA probably, but I think he's pretty similar to SGA with, without the Jamal Murray behind the back and with a release that might even be a little bit worse. So I don't know. I'd say he's probably about SGA level as a card. That's where I'd put him point guard wise. A couple spots behind the top, top point guards in the game. Guys like point guard, Larry, Jokic, Ben, even Clyde, I think is probably above Jalen Rose as a whole because of the lack of behind the back and the release being a little, a little, a little wonky. So as all this Jalen Rose card should still be an absolute stud, still be one of the best point guards in the game, but he's not quite as elite as I truly thought he was going to be, unfortunately. So top into a game, Let's see what Jalen Rose can do. See, this team is not horrible, but it also doesn't make sense to me because like, why is Gobert Arenas playing your two? This team is good. It's not great, but it's pretty good. But it could be a lot better if you put Gilbert Arenas at the one and put somebody who's actually solid at the two. Even like a free Chris Middleton or Dominique Wilkins or somebody like that. Just somebody who's solid at the two for free. So Jalen Rose starting off the game, attacking downhill. That Kyrie dribbles down, same side burst, get to the rim and throw it down. Love to see it. I, this card has everything you need, man. He really does, except for an elite upper. And then leap behind the back. He's got everything else you need at the point guard position. And so do those two things not being the case, not being elite, do they hold him back enough to really take him out of like that top three to five point guard discussion? My honest answer is I don't know yet uh, because six eight is really, really nice. But I also love to have a good behind the back, especially at this point in the year and not having that hurts this card. And then also his upper just isn't great. Like that was a poor shot. I thought I was going to get more blinders than I did. I didn't really get in front of him as much as I thought I was going to. So that didn't really work out as much as I would have liked, obviously. But I don't know. As a whole, it's... Eh, I don't know. I feel like I could have played that a little bit better, probably, that possession. But his release is a little bit of a question mark as well. So I don't know. I don't know. He's 6'8". If he was 6'11", I think I'd be a little less critical of the release. But like like I kind of am with Jokic, which to be fair, like I don't think Jokic's release is very good either. But he's 6'11", so I don't really look at that as a flaw on Jokic. I'm not sure at 6'8", with, uh, with Jalen Rose, that's the same perspective I have. But to be fair, 6'8", with a massive player build is still pretty big at the point guard position. So he does everything so well and has such good movement and everything where I still think he is, at least in that discussion. Like if you want to put him over SGA and Clyde, I certainly wouldn't disagree with you. If you want to put 
put those guys over him as well. I also don't think I can disagree with you on that. I think this card is very much, it's a lot of opinion in terms of where you would actually put him on this list, but I will say he is absolutely dicing up Tyrese Maxey right now. Not much Tyrese can do to stop us from getting to the rim to start off this game. We get ourselves a hop step through and get to the rim for a bucket. If you shoot this, the way that he this dude has shot the ball this game has not shown me any sort of uh, indication that he can actually shoot at a high level. So my goal is going to be to make him shoot for the most part, at least right now, I think. And we're going to run the floor again. This is, again, the value of this card because athletically he's a stud and size wise he's a stud and he's got really good sigs outside of the behind the back all the rest of sigs are really really good so as a whole he's a really really nice car in a lot of ways who does a lot of things well as my dog starts chewing his chew toy all right i apologize if y'all can hear that background noise there's only so much i can do about that stop and pop jalen rose that's not even that terrible of a shot but look at Dikembe getting the board love to see that see this is where i'd love to have a, a nice behind the back but he doesn't really have that still creates space on that one though we actually got enough space to get the shot off just didn't green it um was that really slightly early as well that's interesting right here though this is the value of a Jalen Rose he's matched up on Kevin McHale I have no issues with this matchup he switches on to Joel Embiid I don't really have an issue with this matchup either and then he can go out there and step out and guard a small guard in Gilbert Arenas or somebody like that and he can stay in front at a high level as well he kind of can do everything that you need a point guard or really just any guard to do his versatility size wise and defensively is very very valuable especially compared to a 6'5 6'6 dude for the most part like at this point in the year and stop and pop knock down three ball his release bro smoky as heck the release is smooth, it's, but the upper does slow it down. And I mean, even there, you see me missing that shot. And the shot, I feel like I otherwise would always hit with the card. And his base isn't bad. It's just that upper is kind of garbage. And it feels like it's ruining this release a little bit. I held it down long enough that time, though. We green it. When he's open, you should be absolutely knocked down. I don't think it's really worse than Jokic's release or anything like that. I just think, I don't know. It is worse than, I think, probably Clyde or SGA's release. So, eh, something to keep in mind. I like this card. I don't like him as much as I thought I was going to when I first saw him on paper because of the lack of the behind the back and because his release isn't great, but uh, I still very much do like this card. I think he's one of the better point guards in the game. When it comes to free point guards, I think you could make the argument that he is better than really the rest of them, honestly. like I think you could pretty much make the argument that he is the best point guard. Clyde, you could make an argument he's the best free point guard in the game because point guard Jokic isn't free. Clyde and SGA are very good, but they're not as big as uh, as Rose is. I, I think you could definitely make the argument, at least, that he is the best point guard, at least free in the game. I'm not sure I personally would. I think I would take Clyde over him, and I might take SGA too. But he's in the discussion for sure. And that's still a very good card and a very solid mode reward when, they, when you are one of the best at your position in the game. At the same time, the point guard position is super oversaturated at this point. So I'm not going to sit here and overpraise 2K or anything like that. Like this is the best unlimited reward they've ever dropped or anything like that. I feel like Terry Dishinger might have even been better last season. He was um, a 6'7 small forward. So I don't know. At the same time, I am liking this card. I think he plays pretty well. His movement is great outside of that behind the back. He's got a very, very, very large player build. Uh, and overall, I've been pretty impressed so far by this performance, honestly. So I like this card. I don't think I love, love, love this card, but I definitely am a big fan. And his athleticism is something that I have very much noticed in this game. As well as the fact that playmaking takeover is always a W. I love to see that as well. So cooking up in this game for sure against admittedly an opponent who's not very good. But we have dogged him out. He finally greens a three ball, but it's a little too late. Too little too late is what I would say with a uh, 17 to 5 lead hop step through. Look at Jalen Rose's athleticism. Using that hop step to his advantage. He's done that more than once this game as well. Uh, and that's the second time he's gotten the dunk off of the hop step. So I like what I've seen, man. I really do. I think he's played himself a heck of a performance. Let's get one more bucket and let's call it a game because this is this is getting uncompetitive. What's his fade? That's the one thing I didn't check in freestyle as well. So we're going to go shoot a fade real quick and pro two fade. I'm cool with that. I can live with their pro two fade. It's going to be a little slower because of his upper not being great. Uh, so keep that in mind with his fade. But you should be able to fade to both sides at a high level and knock them down with consistency. So I don't think that's going to be a huge issue for this card or anything like that. Um, can we get through the screen? Fade there again. That's a good look. And that one is also slightly early. Definitely something you're the biggest thing you're going to have to adjust to, to with the with him is the upper, unfortunately, because the behind the back not being great is annoying, but not a huge deal. It's the upper that's slow. That's the only problem here. And there you go. Even there, it gets slowed down. Maybe that was th that one was, I think, more him him being tired than anything else that that got slowed down. But it certainly, again, did not help that his upper isn't great. So that's the main complaint. Outside of that, I really like this card. 19 points, one rebound, one steal, eight of 15, two and nine from three. He's definitely one of the top three point guards in the game. One of the top point guards in the game. Period. I just wish that his release was a little better. With that being said, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.